you know, who knows where Melee will be in like a couple of years, right? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. I'm just curious how things can improve in the future. But I think just having the tournaments is always a good starting point. So, like you said, if you build it, they will come. But we're yes. going to get into our next set here. We got I'll win Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate and Rackle versus West and Daki. I, uh, that's a bold statement in the Melee Doubles Tournament. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, I, we'll just call him Winner, I guess. We'll, we'll back him up. So Winner and Rackle is how I'm going to do it. I don't actually know. I think it's RK? Yes. Oh, that's what it says. RK. Yes. Uh, there's a kind of very, very well-known BC sort of meme where RK wants to beat Wizrope. And then people here will just like, be like, yeah, BC's good. Like, RK beat Wizrope. Like, they'll just kind of bring it up all the time. Did so, that actually happen? That actually it did happened. actually happen. Okay, yes, okay. it did actually happen. So, Next. Um, RK beat Wizrope? Yeah, exactly. He's really good. Yeah, so, so, so good. He's going to win uh, SSP. <laughs> also? Damn. Yeah, it's surprising, I know. Do you play Ultimate much? Not as much lately. I used to play it a lot more, maybe, like uh, a couple years ago even. But I still watch a decent amount, especially like the last Summit. But yeah, not, not too much of the playing it, just because the online stuff. Kinda, I didn't want to play it online. <laughs> I'll yeah. play it now, like, uh, now that Lance doesn't have any more on. Already we're seeing a, a rest from top, so pretty big uh, departure from what we saw with Web Wipe in our set earlier. And you know, it, there's a, a lot of kind of reliable ways to get rests off of both of these people. Less so people, but Fox, like, so many ways to open up for a rest to get a really small punish. Yeah, I think Sheik Puff is kind of interesting, because, yeah, the, the the Fox definitely has, like, a lot of kind of intuitive uh, ways to be able to rest, but you still can do grab rest with pretty much any team, so Absolutely. they are doing that. Green team is doing that very well. Really good awareness on the Fox's end to go for the up smash there, and this is going to be a pretty solid amount of damage. 64 already. Yeah, protect his rest there. That was Mm -hmm. I think Sheik's up air too could also do a pretty good job for kind of setting up for some of these. Yes, punishes. yeah. F tilt even maybe like up tilt like at yeah. a higher percent. That's a good point. F We're figuring out the meta. <laughs> <laughs> but a lone Jigglypuff will have to make rest punishes on her own, or not rest punishes at all. Just having the back air and combo. This is a terrible spot to be. And lose the stock pretty quickly. Not surprising to see that not pan out. Jig's not a great kind of 2v1 character. Uh, is a bit challenging to say the least, but I wonder where they're gonna go here. Dreamland? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I guess they wanna just kind of break it up a little bit, give, give each other a little bit more space. Because when you have a player like Daki, especially, who's really fast, very, very technical, can feel like he's all over the place at once. So maybe a stage like Dreamland will break that up a little bit. Give them I some time. At least you get a little bit more time to find your footing, right? I believe Daki beat Big Fox as well, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Uh, there's like a little list, you know, of uh, you get a little <laughs> sticker you put on your badge, <laughs> H-Fox Slayer. It's like a Boy Scout badge? Yeah, exactly! Uh, <laughs> you beat H-Fox, wow! Yeah, you have to you have to put a little thing in the mail, and they mail it back to you, and you, you <laughs> sew it into your jacket. It's like a puff with two X's on the eyes. Oh man, the whole thing. that yeah, I think you just came up with a great actual product. Actually, idea. yeah, actually, you know? someone could do that. You gotta give radar a cut. But uh, yeah, copyright, uh, cop I mean, it's a <laughs> trademark. Okay, like I've got I've got it, everything. Uh, that's how it works. So you might not know saying that is a. Is all you need. Oh yeah, it's, probably, it's a verbally blinding, I think. Yes, it's, yes, exactly. And the whole Canada, US stuff, that doesn't complicate things at all. Right, right, there's, right. A, there's a universal law. Here. <laughs> beam Beam Sword? Sword? Right. What even happens with Beam Sword? I feel like, it feels like the piece was a little bit lost. Like, what do I do with this? I, you know, just, just not... Even when he picked it back up, he's like, ah, oh, should I have done yeah, that? Yeah, I think it's just like, you know what? I'm not even doing anything. Like, the last 10 seconds have been not consequential because I've had the Beam Sword. 
it's it's funny, you know, I can remember like playing with a friend a long time ago, uh, kind of more in the casual days of Melee, and him seeing that Peach can pull items. This is so OP, man. Yeah. And I'm like, you're not really. <laughs> like, there's you get some a truth sword. to that. There's there some, truth some truth to that. There's some truth. But you get the beam sword and it's like, look, I know this might look good. Yeah. But it's not, not it really. doesn't actually do much, especially because you're just not very well seasoned with using it and trying to combo off it or whatever you want to do with it. It's kind of tricky. It is really cool when people all do have some kind of slicing though. Like when they're, when they're looking comfortable with the beam sword, uh, so it makes you some fan, to say the least. Yeah. Alright, uh, edge guard situation up air could be a big deal here, and manages to cover it with the quarter, but getting the up smash will really put uh, green team quite behind. Yeah, and we're seeing the, the stock tanking from the peaches end here, and on that previous stock you could see that um, the green team was really hungry to get the, the peach KO, and so they were just punished for it so heavily. Again, you're just going on stage, okay? Ooh, that was a very solid edge guard, you know? Uh, it kind of looked like they might not get it, but uh, managing to kind of be in the right spot at the right time and coordinating with their teammate leads to the stock victory. And this is this is doable. This is, this is really doable, actually. Especially if Sheik, like you can see Sheik trying, trying to get the grabs and Puff staying at a distance to where you could punish off of that grab. Yes. She is looking really small, though, and this head card situation, um, giving uh, Peach the ability to kind of pressure Sheik at that 142%. Actually, both of them really high percent. Wow, that was really solid from Daki, and I feel only like people like Daki can make that kind of uh, pressure situation work because he's so good off the ledge, like has the craziest ledge dashes, right? Whereas other people would be scared to go on the ledge with a two-on-one situation with a puff in the mix, right? Daki's like, no, nah, I'm confident on the ledge. I'm gonna get hella galant off this, so you have to respect my invincibility and really just put the pressure on there. Yeah. Def definitely. I, I'm thinking about this badge thing, by the way. Or not badge thing, this, this, this badge thing. Uh, it's, in, it's in my head, man. You know what it's like? It's like Pokemon gym badge. You know what I mean? Like you go you go to Brock or something and he gives you the uh, badge or, or yeah. something. I, I'm, I'm digging deep into the memory uh, archives. And I think, you know, like, yeah, maybe there's a similar system that you need a capable player in your region. Badge system. Wouldn't that be so funny if you beat a top player and they gave you a badge? How rewarding would that be? They give you like a little trophy to commemorate you beating them. Mango gives you a little wristband. <laughs> that, that, that'd be kind of mad. Be so sick. <laughs> You'd be like, I, I, there's a, I have a special one. <laughs> <laughs> that beat me. You still have to sub though, but I will give it to you if you beat. Okay. What happens when you collect all eight badges? Uh, that's when you get to fight uh, the Elite Four, which in this case uh, would probably be left in, you know, because you have to travel. Yeah. And then if you beat the Elite Four, Armada comes out of retirement to try to fight yeah, you. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Yeah, there's a there's a whole narrative there. We got uh, a <laughs> Leffen as Lance. We got uh, I, I honestly don't even remember all of the the elite four people. I know like Agatha's in there. So that'd be probably like King or something. But... You got Bruno, the the fighting guy with the the two onyxes. Is that H box or who's like who's Jackson? Anyway? Alex nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Alex nineteen is Bruno. <laughs> kind of said something about the scene that we're like. Anyone <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Alex 19 is indeed back, so uh, that's good. Good for him. <laughs> good for him. Ooh, I really like this platform tech chase sequence for the blue fox and also breaking up the combo, knowing that the Jigglypuff is right there and doing the up smash. Da Daki, yeah, that was Daki going, yeah. popping off there. The last second, 10 seconds. Really, you know, I think a lot of the skills that you gain in singles, like constantly being aware of like what you should be doing at any given time, uh, pays off big, in a big way in doubles as well. Just like situational awareness, knowing like, okay, I gotta help my teammate, I gotta go for the kill here. All so, so, so important. Absolutely agree. And man, what a stock deficit this is. Five stocks to three potential Edgard sequence, but it's so hard to do that against Peach get something really worthwhile, especially when Daki is so close, being able to break up that pressure. That would have been the sickest rest if you could have had this tag, but obviously it would have been one of the hardest reads ever. Um, good light shield to avoid the pressure, that's what we like to see. Keep it safe and beautiful up smash. Oh, and a, an up smash to answer back there. 
he goes for the forward smash, uh, trying to get him as far off the stage as possible. And that oh, no. spot hits Puff. That was right off the invincibility too! Okay, man, that would have been a brutal early KO against Puff. He has so much percent. Off that Puff down has smash. a pretty good recovery though. True. It's not bad, yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> day, day one, day one melee. Uh, Wait, the B in. Hey, it's like a trade. It's like a trade. Let's try to oh, Man, the shield is so tiny. What a great pound, actually, from the corner. You know, escaping all this pressure is really impressive. It's not easy. Obviously, it does end up closing it out, but, like, you know, that was a tight situation in the corner to not get clipped there.